Hi everybody, welcome to Petra's Happy Place. Today, I'm looking a little pale and I do apologize for that. However, I'm not gonna worry about details anymore. Um, I have been promising and promising and promising. It will come, it will come. I'm not gonna procrastinate anymore. I'm gonna start even though my setup isn't as perfect as I would like for it to be. It's more important to get the information to you. Today, I'm going to show you what you need in order to make this cardigan. Everybody's been asking me about it. It's this blue cardigan that I made, and um, I love it. And I'm sure you are going to love making it because it is just so incredibly simple. It's just made in a couple different pieces and then you just put them together and I will walk you through each step. So the first thing we're gonna do is take a look at this product, okay? There's long sleeves with cuff. We've got the um, front, two panels, another sleeve, and then the back, okay? Now, I've made it a certain length, but I'm going to discuss that with you too. You can make it any length you want. And I'm going to give you the, um, all the information you need of what exactly you need to make this sweater. Now, I personally always err on the side of having too much rather than too little, unless it's easily available to you. So I'm going to be using, um, what I use for this is what I'm basically what I'm going to make for the one that I'm going to show you. I'm going to use Stylecraft DK. You can use any kind of DK yarn. You can use Stylecraft paint box. There's so many other DK weights out there. I'm going to be using these three colors: um, white, gray, uh, like a medium gray, and then a rose pink color. Um, I used three colors for this here. I used uh, a medium and a dark blue, um, and then that same medium blue and a very light gray. Um, I would suggest using for yourself, if you want this kind of look to it, use three different colors as well. You'll need a dark, a medium, and a light. Now for this size, which I think is gonna be a size large, okay? I, I usually wear a size medium, but this is very, very roomy for me. Um, so it's gonna be tailor-made for you. You can make it as big or as small as you want, and I'll go over that here. So what you're gonna need is I used, um, like I said, I would rather err in the side of having too much than not enough. So I'm going to say 900 yards of the, the dark color, 900 yards of the medium color, and about 600 yards of the, um, the uh, light color. Um, now, uh, we're going to be doing two strands together, and um, I'm probably... I don't know, as we go along with this project, we might need a little bit more and I'll just have to go get it. I'll have to order it. If you would like to do it in something else because you wanna use up some of your stash, great. How about using um, a number four and maybe a number one? You know, um, if you have some number one weight that you've got sitting around, use that tie it together. You don't have to make the stripes, just use it all one color. Um, you can use um, uh, one of those anniversary cakes. I think you'll probably need one full cake and you won't be doubling it up. You'll just be using it single strand. Now, if you're gonna color control, I would say you might need two cakes. I'm, I, I think, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, again, it's gonna depend on how large you want it. So because I'm using the, the uh, two strand, uh, of DK weight, I think I like this better than using the one strand anniversary cake, and I'll explain that here why. Because, just think of the uh, physics, if you will, of it. You've got two strands that have got air in between it, 
okay if you're using two strands yeah it might be the same thicknesses as a um a five weight or six weight but it's a little bit um what's the word i'm looking for Squ not squishy necessarily but there's air pockets in between and if you know anything about warmth and trying to keep things insulated um that that's important having air um i don't know if that's going to make any difference to what you how you want to make yours okay so we covered the yarn <clears throat> you're going to need uh, to make that kind you're going to need um, uh, three skeins i used about three possibly four of the of the dark and the medium and then one skein fewer for the light color because you're not using quite as much okay so the other things you're going to be needing are I used a six and a half millimeter. Now this, I bought this hook specifically for this project because I didn't have one. And I knew <clears throat> since I was using two strands together, I wanted to, and I usually have difficulty with a larger, thicker yarn. I like having a, something very lightweight. So make sure um, with whatever you're using, you're gonna be comfortable with your hook. Okay, so six and a half millimeter. Um, a lot of you are, are going, uh, duh, I knew this, <laughs> but I'm trying to explain it for those that have never made a wearable. I want to make this your first wearable if, if you've never made one before. You're going to need a pair of scissors. You're going to need a darning needle, okay? Now, you know, if I had it all pretty, it would be laying on a table and I'd point these things out to you and everything. Can't be that fancy. Okay. It's helpful to have a tape measure. <clears throat> if you don't have a tape measure, that's all right. You don't need a tape measure. I mean, it's helpful, but not necessary, okay? Um, I also have a handful of these um, locking stitch markers, okay? And they're, oh, cheapy. You buy them anywhere, okay? You just, I just got a handful of them. And to me, the most important thing you're going to have to have paper and pen okay some kind of a notebook to write stuff down in because what I think is is going to be helpful for you um, if you've never read a pattern before if you don't understand how to read patterns anything like that let's get that notebook out and I'm going to show you how or what to write in that notebook to help you remember, and then it will help you then to read other patterns later on. So you're gonna get a twofer, okay? So, um, until I post the next video, or until all of this comes together, okay, um, go ahead and gather all of your um, things that you need, and um, yeah, and then I'm gonna start a tutorial on how exactly to do all of the stitches and to, to you know to start the whole project but today I'm just gonna put out this video so you can get all your stuff together <clears throat> the next thing I want you to do is get out your notebook and your pen and I want you to take your measuring tape or if you don't, just take a piece of string or anything you want to, okay? And I want you to measure from the top of your shoulder down to where you want it to fall on your body, okay? And when, when you do it, make sure that it's not, it's not real tight, you know, but it's not all bunched up because you, you have to remember when you, when you create something with yarn, it's going to stretch a little bit, okay? So I want you to measure from the top of your shoulder down to wherever you want it to fall in back, okay? And then I want you to jot it down in your notebook. If you even want to little, draw a little picture of a body and, you know, do the little arrows and say, this is how long this is, then I want you to write or measure from side to side. And if you want to take a, um, a sweater that fits you real well or a jacket that fits you real well that you want to pattern this after, 
measure how wide it is from side to side and write that down in your notebook, okay? Then the next part is gonna be simple, simple, simple because all you're gonna do is take that measurement from side to side and you're gonna divide it by two because we're gonna make two panels for the front. So write that measurement down, okay? That's all we're gonna do to get ready for the, um, the beginnings of making our, um, our sweater. Quick hint, <clears throat> if when you get your yarn together and you're using uh, multiple colors, if you don't like the idea of yanking from the skein, you know, pulling it from the skein, I have found, and this, this, is, this is really helpful if you wanna do this, if you have a yarn winder, now if you don't have one, if you don't have a yarn winder, it's not necessary. <clears throat> it could be fun, it's something to do, but cake them up. And then what we're gonna do is just draw from the middle of each color and that'll work just fine, okay? If not, then you just go from the, the middle of your skeins. <clears throat> And if you have any questions at all, please leave it in the comment section below. I will be more than happy to answer any questions that you have. And um, until next time, hopefully I'll be filming a little bit more every day and then have one big video that um, I can release the entire tutorial, okay? All right, you guys have a great day and we will see you next time at Pinterest Happy Place. Bye.